is Riley. My name is Allie. My name is Aiden. My name is Charlotte. My name is Connor. I am Charlotte C. I am the technical library assistant who does filming and editing videos. I am a library outreach leader this summer. I am the technology summer student. I am the outreach leader at NCPL. So my position here at the library is, is that I'm the summer student archivist. I am the summer reading program assistant this summer. Uh, currently I've been working on a lot of the library tours and making a lot of videos for tutorials for the library. I do lots of things. That includes planning, uh, Zoom story time, Zoom parties, and then uh, participating in them, uh, as well as planning camps and running those. Oh, story walks, which are a new addition this year, so you should definitely come check them out. Oh yeah, we also organize prizes and send them out every week, and there's been a lot of prizes going out because everyone has been doing such an amazing job. Oh yeah, we're also doing fall and winter programming for PA days, so watch out for those, as well as for the Christmas holidays. I help run the day camps as well as some technology-based Zoom programs and showing you around the makerspace. I'm also helping to run drop-in tech help. At the library, I help organize a couple of the Zoom uh, programming, like the Jigsaw Puzzle King and the Keyboarding Without Tears. I also help with the story walk. So my job is actually going through all of this information that you see in front of me here. My job was to go through a bunch of boxes that had a bunch of different archived material regarding the local history of Norfolk County and the surrounding area. So there's a lot of different stuff regarding um, the creation of Haldeman Norfolk region as well as the dissolution of that region and a lot of different mainly different stuff about the different histories of Simcoe, Dal High, Waterford, Port Dover, all those places. There's a lot of old newspapers. Um, so I'm basically just going through all of that and organizing it so that it will be able to be compiled and then added to the li local history library collection one day. I help with the Zoom story times and parties. I also help with activities, day camps, and the story walks. Uh, currently, I'm enrolled at Sheridan College for Film and Television. Brock University, I'll be in my fourth year of concurrent education to be a teacher. I'll be going to HT for grade 12. Um, in the fall, I'll be going to school for er, my third year in engineering. So I'm going to school at Fanshawe College and the program that I'm taking is the Bachelor of Environmental Design and Planning program. Um, I'm taking a victory lap at SCS before I go off to study environmental sciences. Um, I think one of the new things that I've learned is that a lot of people have library cards and are using uh, library services. I just so many things. I've worked here for a few years, but I think I discover new things all the time. One new thing I discovered this year was uh, a lot of our online resources as well as connections with different uh, programs in the community. So one of them is the Frontier College program, which is helping uh, offshore workers learn English. Um, and it's really amazing. Something new that I guess I've discovered about the library is all of the different resources that they have in it explaining what they have in the library and how you can use them. I discovered this year that we have a TikTok account and there will be new videos on it coming soon. <laughs> so actually something that I've discovered is the wide amount of local history material that we actually have at the Norfolk Libraries. So I never knew that they had as much resources as they did regarding local history. They have newspapers on microfilm uh, from literally like the 1920s, I think going back even to the 18 like hundreds, they have so many records on file that you can view on film, um, as well as so many just different books and like different papers and articles as well as pictures and stuff. Um, everything in the makerspace, I wasn't very educated before and after working with Charlotte and Allie I learned about a lot of things like the Cricut Cutter.
I think one of my favorite things about working at the NCPL is just having the ability to sort of offer my creative skill set um, to the branches. So being able to make tours or interviews and uh, stuff like that. My favorite thing is very difficult to choose. Uh, definitely books. I love the books. But also, I think my coworkers, we have a really great uh, summer team this year, as well as our management team is really amazing. I think one of my favorite things about it is some of the online resources that they have, mainly the online books that you can download onto your phone without actually having to come into the library. My favorite thing about NCPL is that it is a free service for the community and I feel like there's a lot of essential things that it gives to different parts of this community. So I love how it is all super accessible to the public. It's really easy to come in and just be able to use any of these resources. All you have to do is literally um, to be able to sign any out is have a library card, but anyone can come into the local history room here at the Simcoe branch and they are able to use any of the resources like the microfilm or any of the books or newspapers or everything. So I just think it's really accessible to the public and there's a lot of great programming that goes on at the library too that's also like mostly free and accessible to the public. So it's just really, really good to have such an accessible thing in the community that's getting people in, teaching them more about where they are from and like what the area is so it's just a great accessible resource to have. I would say the staff, the staff's a very welcoming and good community and the resources in the library especially Simcoe it's a very large branch with lots of opportunities and reading materials. I think people should visit the library because we have a lot of things that typically aren't offered uh, outside and for free. Uh, we have places like the Makerspace or uh, the Film Studio which is just being opened up now. Because of all the amazing things there is to do here. Uh, on top of all the online resources that are free to access on the NCPL website, we also have three 3D printers as well as Cricut machines which are super easy to use um, and all kinds of other stuff in our Makerspace rooms that is amazing to use. People should visit the library because they have a lot of other things besides books. They have the maker space that you can come and use and they run day camp sometimes and teaching your kids things. People should visit the library because we're more than books and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, well, I've kind of already answered this in my other answers. but. People should just continue to support and visit the libraries because like I said, there's so much good programming and accessibility features that go on here. Um, I know there's like some day camps for kids coming up as well as there's like virtual programming with the pandemic, but there are just so many things. There's books on literally every topic you could possibly imagine. Even in this local history room alone, there's so much information here and there's just so much to learn and learning is the key to having a better future so I just think it's really important to come and learn about the past, learn about what's presently going on and the library has options for all of that and then we can work together towards a better future for everyone. You should visit the library because it's a nice safe place and it's quiet to get away from outside and it's offered as a free service.